Uh, let's talk about uh, a sphere. So a sphere is a pretty common object where you have some sort of a, uh, a disc and another shape uh, that creates a three-dimensional shape. Uh, so if we look, uh, the sphere is uh, consisting of two main uh, parameterizations, uh, one being theta, which uh, is a full two pi disc, and phi, which is about a half disc. Okay, and the, the reason why we do that is because, you know, let's just take, uh, let's show uh, theta starting at negative pi over there, and then moving slowly all the way over to pi. So that performs one full rotation. Okay, so that would be uh, if you had a, a circle, you know, like having a two pi times uh, the radius, uh, letting you, uh, you know, discover the circumference of that circle. Um, so th that would be uh, that would be a full two pi rotation. But if we look at phi over here, and we start at the negative pi over two, and we go up to pi over two, uh, it's a half disc rotation. And that's because if we were to, uh, if we wanted to map out every single point along the surface of this sphere, uh, we could do so uh, with just um, one pi for phi and two pi for theta. So I could kind of give you a bit of an example. Uh, this isn't going to be perfect, but just, uh, so if we were to start down here at phi equals uh, negative pi over two, and we were go to go through every value of theta as we're going up, you would see that we're mapping out the entire surface of the sphere as we're going. And then we reach about v equals zero, and then we keep going all the way up. So with this 2D mapping, uh, we're able to see how these, uh, this 2D map is transformed into the surface of this sphere. It's, it's, it's mapped from this two-dimensional you know, v and theta plot to this three-dimensional uh, rho theta phi plot, where we have the value of rho being equal to uh, one right on that surface. So rho is, is essentially the length of this line uh, that's coming from the origin to the surface of that sphere. Um, so yeah, that's a parameterization of the sphere.